Good morning. Good morning. Oh, Miss Curie, I have a bag of almonds. Almonds are pretty and healthy. We're gonna see how fast she can eat all the rest. Cause there's like a there's a lot left in here. Are you Let ready? See. On your mark, get set. Eat them all, Miss Curie. Um, even though they're healthy, I'm pretty sure that's not gonna make my stomach feel good. That's a lot oh. of almonds. Oh. Oh well. Okay. I have a bag of chocolate over here. How about that? Um, eat them all. Um, I might have already had some chocolate. Well, so um, you don't want the rest of the bag? You? No, I think I've had enough. Cause my stomach um, is not feeling very good. Whoa! You mean after eating a bag of chocolates, your tummy didn't feel good? Mm mm. Kind of explains why you even thought something healthy and eating a lot of it wouldn't feel good. Right. You know, boys and girls, have you ever eaten like a really big yummy thing of ice cream and you get oh, just like yeah. tons of it and you yeah. put all the toppings on? Uh -huh. and so good. And then you go, oh, my stomach hurts mm -hmm. afterwards. Have you ever done? Oh, yeah. where you've eaten too much of something that was even really good. Right. Oh, when, whenever we do that, then you don't want to do it again. Like Miss Gary was like, yeah. no, thank you to the almonds even. Mm -hmm. Because when we have something that doesn't feel good, we don't want to do it again. No. And that is exactly what we have been studying in the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. Do you have, Miss Gary, your Bible. Oh, let me oh, go get it. Oh, okay. All right. Do you get your Bible at home? Do you have it? Are you ready? I have it. Okay. We have our Bibles. Okay. Here we go. This, this is my Bible. Bible. It's, it's God's holy word. Everything, Everything in it is true, and it's living inside you. I am so thankful for God's word. Mm -hmm. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much that you have given us your word to change our hearts and that you tell us about your character so we can see that you love us and want us to be like you and be faithful to you and that we have consequences so that we don't do it again. We pray that we would know you more in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So, Ms. Carey, yes. uh, can you think of some of the names of the people we've been studying over the last several yeah. months? Uh, there was a Solomon. Solomon, yep. Oh, uh, we talked about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. And David. David. There was another S. He was the first one. Saul. Saul, yeah. that's right. Yeah. So I was thinking maybe we could play a game. You guys okay. like games? Yeah, like I games. do. Okay, good. Okay, so the first one. Miss Carrie, uh -huh. when I share a little bit about the person and I say the name, mm -hmm. you have to use all the things that you've been studying. Uh -huh. Lord, help us remember. Yeah. And if they were faithful and they had blessings from God because they were faithful, you get to say, Woohoo! Are you ready? Yeah. You ready? One, two, three. Woohoo! That's right. Good job. I can even hear them at home. Yeah. You guys are so much fun. Okay, but if they were not faithful to God, maybe they worshiped idols or they were destructive and they went against how God would want us to live. So they rebelled against they God. They rebelled against God. Mm -hmm. We're going to go just like our tummy hurts where we ate too much ice cream and go. <laughs> like that? Like yeah, like that. Like Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, exactly. Because that's not fun. And so we don't want to do that again. No. Okay. Are you ready to try it? Okay, so the very first person, and I have my little list here. First one was Saul, like Miss okay. Carrie said. Mm -hmm. Now, remember, his kingdom had been taken away mm -hmm. because he was rebellious. Ooh. Which one is he? Wahoo! Or oh. oh, oh. <laughs> yes, yes, that's right. We don't want to do that again. Okay, are you ready for another one? Mm -hmm. After Saul was David. Now David had received the promise and he had, was setting God's word. He had a heart for God. Which one would he be? Definitely. Woohoo! That's right, yes, mm -hmm. that's right. I heard you. I heard you. Yeah, they're doing you. a good job. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tricky one, so listen closely. Okay, so it was Saul, then David, and then we learned about Solomon. Now, Solomon in the beginning was faithful and was blessed. So, woohoo! Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Uh huh. Okay, but then, oh, later in life, he became 
unfaithful and his kingdom was divided. Oh, <laughs> that's true. Yeah, oh, okay. Well then remember there's the two nations, mm -hmm. Israel and Judah, and they ended up having to be exiled. They had to leave the land because they were idolatrous. They were worshiping another <gasps> God. Oh my goodness. And not the one true God. Oh. I know. That's crazy. Which one is it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Not to do that. We should not worship other gods. Mm -mm. We have learned a lot of lessons so far. Yeah, we have. Okay. Then there was Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Right, I love this story. Do you remember? Because uh -huh. they had gone into the fiery furnace, and God watched over them. And so they came out, not even smelling like smoke. God protected them because they said they would only mm -hmm. worship the one true God. Mm -hmm. Which one are they? Woohoo! <laughs> That's right! We should only worship the one true mm -hmm. God. Oh, okay. Then I am going to give you lots of names. Daniel, Esther, and Mordecai had been preserved and God exalted them. He put them into higher places of power. Right, because Daniel, were, re, like, Daniel refused to like worship the other that's gods, right. like pray to the other gods. That's like exactly king. right. He only prayed to God. Only pray to the one true king, and that's what they did. Are they faithful? Or were they disobedient? Woohoo! <gasps> that's right, they were faithful. That's right. Okay, how about, you ready? Nehemiah and Ezra, because the Lord did use them in some really powerful ways. Ooh, when you're used by God in good ways, that's a woohoo! That's right, yeah! Oh my goodness. You know, it kind of reminds me of if, when we're looking at all these people, we see we should worship the one true God. Yeah. We want to be used by God. Right. We want to be like God. Yeah. And we receive blessings. It feels good. Right. Uh, but, well, some uh, of these people, like, they turned away from their sin and uh, they ran away from it. And some of them didn't turn away from their sin and then they got judgment. Right. But if, when they ran away from their sin and they chose to do good, they got blessing. They did. They really did. Mm -hmm. it, so I was trying to think of some things, you know, we have lots of things we do mm -hmm. every single day. Like when you get up and your mom and dad say, hey, it's time to get breakfast. Or maybe you're with grandma and grandpa, and they say, it's time to get up and go get breakfast. Do you go, mm, I don't want to get up right now. I just want to go to bed. Which one is that? Is that a woohoo? Or is that, oh. That's a, mm, oh. Yeah. That's not going to go very well, mm -hmm. is it? No blessings there. No. Were you wondering what my shirt said? Miss Carrie, what does it say? Be kind. Wait a minute. That's a fruit of the spirit. Mm -hmm. That's being like God. Yeah. So if you were to get up, be told you were told to get up and it's time for breakfast, time to get out of bed, and you were to be kind like God, mm -hmm. what would that look like? Um, I think that means that we need to obey and get up out of bed and go have breakfast with a happy heart. Oh, with a happy heart. Mm -hmm. You mean not be grumpy. Yeah, like Oh. It's not good to like go and have breakfast but stomp the whole way and be angry about it. That's not being kind Ooh. and being like Jesus. Wait a minute. So like even if we were supposed to go clean our room and we stomped down the hallway. And we complained and mumbled to ourselves. Ooh, that's ooh. a, ooh. ooh. Yeah, that's oh, a bad thing. Yeah. So if we, I think you use the word do it first time right away and with a happy heart. Happy mm -hmm. heart. That's being kind and being like God. And that's a. Wahoo! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's amazing. Well, we have studied so many great people in God's word that can encourage us to mm -hmm. do the right thing. And God loves you so much that if you have trusted him as your Lord and Savior, he will help you do that. And if you've never trusted God, you can say, I know you're the one true God. And you can ask him to help you right now because he died on the cross for your sins. So will you do that? And then you can live for him and not have that destruction and the consequences. Oh, Miss Carrie, would you pray that the boys and girls at home, if they don't know Jesus, they would accept him mm -hmm. now. And for those of us who do, that we would look to God to be like him. Yes.
Oh, thank you. Generally, Father God, I ask for the boys and girls out there that do not know you yet. I God, I ask that you help them to turn away and run away from their sin and run right yes. to you, God. And for those of them that already know you as their Lord and Savior, God, I ask that you help them to understand what it's like to be like you, to be mm -hmm. kind and to um, be loving to those around us mm -hmm. and to turn from our sin when we do sin, but to turn away from it immediately and run straight yes. to you. Yes. God, I just ask that you help these boys and girls have a great week, and I ask that you help them to see and look for ways that they can be more like you in their lives. We love you and we praise you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Bye! Bye.